There is Carl Seyu Manotafa, a Samoan fighter. Very, very tough. A guy who's hard to finish. He's been on the wrong end of, of some decisions. But he's a guy who's not afraid to throw down. He's very good on the ground as well, especially from that top position. Good at getting back to his feet. This should be a fun fight, boys. He's got a chin like Mark Hunt. Yes, he, he does. Uh, he can take a shot. He is tough. Holy cow. You know, before Carl Sayamonatapa entered the PFL uh, in our second season, he fought a former training partner of mine. Low calf kick broke the man's leg. Ooh. Fibula snaps because oh. of one calf kick Ouch. from that guy. Horsepower on his strikes, to say the least. And his opponent, Hannah Vera. There's the Brazilian black belt in jiu-jitsu, also boxing, six foot eight. That is a formidable tall guy to be dealing with in the cage. And look, his, his fight against Fabricio Verdum ended in controversy. He had the tap and then the pound out that, that Kenny just explained for us. But the bigger takeaway was that he was giving Fabricio Verdum everything Fabricio could handle. Matching yep. up that well with a guy who's been a champion at every level it, it is really fascinating to me. And obviously the physical profile is its own problem. So we really don't know just yet on Hena Fajera, but I think we find out a little more in just a couple of seconds. Absolutely, we're gonna get a little, get to know him a little bit better. Here's our tail of the tape for this huge heavyweight fight. Carl Sabanatapa is seven years the elder. He's also seven inches shorter than Hainan Fajera. But he has long arms and broad shoulders, which means that reach advantage for Hainan Fajera is reduced in the arms to four inches. But he's still got an eight and a half. Eight and a half inch reach advantage on the leg. Wowza. <laughs> Lilia Garcia, over to you. The PFL is more than a fight, it's a season. And now we take you back to the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 6'1", he officially weighs in at 260 pounds. In 24 professional fights, he has a record of 12 victories and 12 defeats with 11 wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, here is Carl Badwater Sayumana Tafa. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He specializes in jiu-jitsu and boxing. Standing at six and eight, he weighs in officially at 251 pounds. In nine professional fights, he has a record of six victories, two defeats, and one no contest, with all six wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Buruan to Brazil, here is Hena Problema de Hena. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Good luck to Keith Peterson <laughs> yeah, inside right? the smart cage here as the smallest man. There's the ref cam, Hena Fajera in the blue shorts. Sir, Carl Sayumanatafa in the black Wait. and gray. No touch of the gloves. Orthodox stance for each man. Fajera fainting in with a jab. And then a front kick, but doesn't actually unload on either. And there, that rear front kick comes up the middle. Sayu Malatafa able to evade. Nice low calf kick, calf kick there from Hena Fajera. Uppercut there to respond to the entry from Carl C. Monatafa and Fajera pulls him over. Lands in a half guard, right to the body. Oh, big heavy punches to the ribs. Underhook on the left arm here for Carl C. Monatafa. That's where he wants to be. Abandons the butterfly on the same side. We saw those 
his hammer fist earlier tonight, Randy. We saw him against Fabricio Verdun from this man earlier in the regular season. Got to be careful on the bottom against these heavyweights. Long levers with a lot of leverage and a lot of power, and that's that spells trouble for sure. Well, it's the exact same shots that took out Fabricio Verdun, so Carl's got to get moving. He's got to use those frames to protect against those deadly hammer fists from Fajeda. And Carl Sayamonatapa took this fight on short notice. You don't want to be on the bottom at the beginning of a round when maybe you haven't been in a full fight camp. That can be exhausting. And obviously, Heyna Fajera has jiu-jitsu pedigree to go with his striking ability. Yeah, Sayamonatapa has that lockdown on the right leg of Fajera. And, and again, you know, it, it doesn't really allow for you to get good connection to the floor. You can create a lot of power, but, you know, it also kind of traps you into the position as well. It doesn't allow you to move and get out. He needs to get those, I say long levers because they're the longest levers he has. Yes. But uh, he needs to get those levers back in the fight, create some distance, create some opportunities and scrambles to get back up from the bottom position. And now he's lost the left underhook there. He recovers it. Mahana goes right back to work with his right hand. It's body, 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 head, head, head. And these are not your grandfather's ground strikes. This is nasty, <laughs> nasty work from Hena Fajera on top. Yeah, and for Call, it looks like he's trying to go underneath from half guard. He's trying to scoop that right arm underneath the leg of Fajeda. But the problem is you take away that frame and now you're opening up your face to some deadly hammer fist strikes. Great recognition for Hena Fajera on when he can strike and when he can recover. Those are nasty hammer fists from the gigantic Brazilian. You can't help but think watching this guy, Randy, if he had been born in the United States, he's like an NFL tight end. The way that he <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. is built, six foot eight, broad shoulder, big, heavy muscle. I mean, this is a guy with elite athleticism pouring it on to Carl Sayumanatafa right now. 90 seconds remain here in round number one. Probably could have been a power forward in the NBA as well. <laughs> Man. Ooh. Great right hand, and he just does one, goes back to controlling the position. Now he unloads with both hands, and then pulls Sayumanatafa, who's maybe going to try and use the cage to work himself back to a standing position. Yeah, he's in a much better position here. He's kind of in that seated position. See if he can shoulder walk up against the cage there. Decides to try to go underneath. I don't know if that's a good choice. A little cut over the right eye of Seiyu Manatafa. One of those hammer fists did that damage. This is, what, this is where Carl can really get back to his feet. Let's see, he's using that right arm to post. Let's see if he can scoop that right leg back behind him so he can get up. Game of elevation, and it's tough to get elevation over a six foot eight opponent. Well, in those long arms, you see him coming into play. Carl Sayamonatapa has got an underhook underneath the right arm of Hena Fajera, and he's still able to generate real power going right over the top of Carl's own arm to dig into that body. It's nasty. Inside of 10 seconds, as we roll to the end of round number one, Hena Fajera wailing away on Carl Sayamonatapa. This is where those long legs can come into play. A brutal calf kick right there. Shortly after that, he got on top, and really, this was the story of the round. Fajeda on top with uh, Carl Sayomenotapa working for that underhook, but a lot of precise ground and pound in the form of short shots and hammer fists from the big Brazilian Fajeda. That was the right hand that cut him over the eye there. More hammer fists. Great look from the ref cam there, Sean O'Connell, Randy Latour, Kenny Florian, heavyweight action inside the PFL Smart Cage, Hena Fajera in the blue trunks, Carl Sayumanatafa in the black and gray, and look at that FPR score, dominant for Hena Fajera, 94 to 10. Beautiful performance from the Brazilian.
I'd like to see more of that from Seo Manatapa, see if he can land some of some calf kicks of his own, make up for that height differential there. Gonna be hard for him to get a ton with his hands. Switching stances, Heyman Ferreira giving Carl Seo Manatapa some looks. There's that oblique kick that we saw last week. Another low Oof. calf kick, right on the knee, right that mid-range, nasty from Hainan Fajera. Oh, he clipped him on the top of the head. Carl Sable on the top of in trouble, and here come those hammer fists yet again. Hainan Fajera, diligent on top. Sable on the top of grabs hold for some recovery time. Nice work with the left hand there from Hainan Fajera. That's a little Randy Couture trick. You pin the arm down, then you use that same hand. Here comes the right hand from the top. I guess the idea is you got to punch him in the top of the head, not the chin, for sure. <laughs> that Umanatapa can take some punishment. Holy cow. You look at the way Fajeda is throwing those hammer fists. He does a great job of generating power, then he lets it go. They're landing like a whip. He's very loose and relaxed with those strikes. And in my opinion, that's what's making them so devastating. He's using his body. He's putting his body yeah. weight into that from his knees. Here comes some shoulder pressure from the top. Hey, now for Hannah, looking for an Ezekiel choke. Carl Samonatafa tells the ref cam he's just fine. He and I have different opinions of what fine is. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shoulder pressure there from Fajeda. But again, Seo Matatafa with that lockdown on the right leg of Fajeda. And it's just not allowing for that right foot of Fajeda to get good contacts where he can push off to the floor and generate even more force with that forearm on the neck. Carl Seo Matatafa is talking to Hainan Fajeda. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what the language barrier is like, but he's having a conversation. There's that shoulder pressure yep. again, scooping up under the chin. Right into the mount. This is not a good position for Seo Manatafa. Fajeda trying to walk that left arm of Seo Manatafa across his face, across his body, where he can get an arm triangle. He's got to move his head in proper position and trap the arm, and that's going to be trouble. He elects to go back to the hammer fist and the control instead. Carl Seo Manatafa being mounted for multiple minutes here. Surviving pretty well, considering there's the shoulder pressure again. Just making it uncomfortable. If you've seen Carl fight before, this guy is a true survivor. He's tough as nails. He's had to deal with a lot of pressure, a lot of ground and pound, and doing his best to stay calm here against this giant Brazilian. This is an important round. For Ferreira, if he can get a finish in this round, he scores five points. That gives him six points plus two fights in a head-up criteria to secure a spot in the playoffs. Randy, I'm glad you talked about six points because Jamel Jones grabbed six points earlier tonight with a big knockout victory over Cleats and Abreu. He's watching intently, making sure that he's still <laughs> in the top four. Plenty of heavyweight uh -oh, action. Oh, there's the arm triangle. There it is. But Hayden Finally Harris got it. He's up. rolling he in position. Uh-oh. See him on the top for showing That's some tight. stress on the face. He still thumbs, thumbs up. up. He continues to give the thumbs up. Oh, that's up. a better position. He lowered the shoulder down. This could affect the He's got to drop his neck. hips. Yeah. Well, has got to lay flat. Carl Sam on flat top to get the position. Continues <laughs> to offer a thumbs up. 25 seconds remaining in this second round. He says he's fine. Fajera forced to reposition. Goodness gracious. Where was he getting blood and oxygen from? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't need it. <laughs> Back to the ribs with more punishment. Hey, not Fajera. Dominant, but stymied on top.
with the pressure on him a little more and kicks out to the right. Okay. Move your head all the time, you're gonna attack him. Okay. You attack first, man. You attack first. On the ground, you stay flat. You cannot stay flat on the ground, bro. Welcome back to Ovation Hall, PFL heavyweight action, playoff spots to be determined here on ESPN Plus and later on ESPN2 inside the corner of Carl Sayumanatafa, who appears relatively unaffected despite being mounted for three plus minutes in round number two. Hainan Fajera dominant so far, trying to put Carl Sayumanatafa away. What they need to do is put his neck on a milk carton. You, you can't find it. Uh, it's gone missing. But, uh, man, is he tough. True survivor. Third and final round. Still at least one bonus point on the line, potentially, if either man can get a finish here. Heina Ferreira in the blue trunks, the much taller fighter out of Brazil. Carl Seumanatafa representing Samoa in the black and gray. Good job. Really good. Offer some encouragement. Good job, really good, he said. <laughs> Another strong FPR score from Hainan Ferreira. Whoa. Switch kick from the tall athlete. Ducked by Carl Sayum on the top. Yeah, I don't know many six foot eight athletes who can do that. <laughs> wow, it's not fair. <laughs> Knees in the clinch here. Sayum on the top of bullies Ferreira back to the cage. We definitely stretch test the smart cage with that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, down. Big takedown. And this is where Carl Sayumanatapa's black belt for the Jake Shields comes into play. This is a guy who likes being on top. Can Hainan Ferreira get himself out from under a 260 pound beefcake? Yeah, absolutely. This is exactly where Sayumanatapa wants to be. Reaching around for that seat belt that Randy loves so much. Paying not dividends, that technique. Not able to get it just yet. Ferreira back against the cage here. Well, he's got to take away that posting arm, that left arm of Ferreira. See if he can pull that elbow out to try to get him flat on his shoulders again. Because Ferreira might be in a good position to cage walk and get back to his feet. Bruno Capeloza, right now number one seed in the heavyweight division, fights just a little bit later on. Watching intently as his fellow Brazilian, Heina Ferreira, tries to solve this puzzle. Carl Sayumanatafa able to secure a takedown, and he is on top for now. Ferreira able to recover guard here, but it's open as he tries to work his way back to his feet. So Ferreira has to have a stoppage in this round. If he doesn't get a stoppage in the third round, he's not in the mix anymore. He's got to have a stoppage in this round to have five points and stay in the mix, potentially with the criteria, make it to the playoffs. That's right. We saw six points for three different guys already. Brandon Sales has five. That means a total of four for Hena Ferreira. Doesn't do much for him yeah. after that controversy against Verdue. And really an impressive performance through two rounds here. You got to finish. It's not just a fight. It's a season here in the PFL. Absolutely, and it's gonna be very difficult to do it from this position. I mean, he had he had his opportunities in round one and round two, but Sayo Manatafa, you just can't put him away. That guy's tougher than a pine knot. <laughs> he really is. And he's winning this round right now. Tougher than cheap salami, I tell you. <laughs> Only you would know that one. <laughs> Less than two minutes for Hainan Ferreira to make something happen here. A great illustration, though, of, how, of the importance of having the regular season playoff and championship format, because if you're Hainan Ferreira in a normal MMA situation, it's just like, oh, you know what? I'm going to ride this out. I'm, 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 I'm banked two rounds. I'm going to win. 
two rounds to one, even if I stay here, as long as I don't get finished, and I'm fine. Well, this isn't a regular MMA format. This is a season, and if you want to continue to the playoffs, you need a finish here with one minute remaining in the fight. Seo Manatafa doing a great job of controlling, utilizing that head position. Hips high, not allowing Fajeda to get up. Jamel Jones there enjoying a little snack, and he's also still alive if Fajeda can't get the finish. And it would appear that with 30 seconds remaining in this fight, nothing doing for the giant Brazilian. Say one on top of steps over into half guard, controlling round number three here. And he's going to try to use that left arm to try to throw Fajeda over on his right side. Ten second clapper has sounded. Say one on top of tries the flurry at the end. One left right hand, and that'll do it. Hate on Fajeda. Two strong rounds. Feels pretty obvious that's enough to win this fight. But it doesn't get you into the playoffs. Three points for a decision after the no contest doesn't mean much for the playoffs. There's Fajeda pounding away to the ribs of Seo Manatafa. Landed some excellent ground and pound both to the body and to the head. There's a heavy, heavy leg kick there. Again, a great start in the early rounds for Fajeda, but things started to turn late in this fight. There's that arm triangle that seemed like it was close. He wasn't able to get that shoulder low enough to put the pressure on the carotid artery there. And you and, see uh, his yeah. bicep on the other side of his neck looks like it's too high, too, because he's got such long levers. Right. Hard to get to the right angle there. Here's the single leg by Seo Manatofa. Nice job. Picks him up, puts him down, and he spends the rest of the round right there. Hayna Fajera feels like he's done enough. Time now for the Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by GEICO. Outlanded his opponent, Hayna Fajera, beat up Carl Sam on the top and moved into the mount. Threatened with some chokes, strong FPR scores. But Carl Sam on the top is Big takedown in round number three. Probably at least won him that round. There you see our fighter performance rating brought to you by Rich Energy. According to FBR, Sayu Monatapa did win round number three. No surprise there. FBR says Fajeda won the fight. Randy and Kenny agree. We'll find out shortly what the judges thought of this heavyweight affair. Beijo grande do tio Renan Problema. Já já tô chegando aí para te dar um abraço. For the official decision, we send it to Lillian Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 30-26. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and earning three points in the heavyweight division, Hena Fajeda! So officially, Hena Fajeda wins by decision. 30-26 is an interesting scorecard.